Hi guys, welcome to this video on Microsoft Word. In this session we're going to look at forms and how you can create forms in Word. So first thing you need to do is make sure you have the developer tab on your ribbon. If it's not there you need to go file, options, customize ribbon and then tick the developer option. Click OK to that. That will activate the developer tab. Now for this I'm going to insert a table, just like so, and then I'm going to do, um, go to the developer tab and start inserting some of these controls. So the first one is just a straightforward plain text or rich text control, rich text, so you've got this there, it allows you to select um, and tap in this box. If you select, select properties, you can change things, if you select design mode, you can actually type different text here. Design mode off, so that's a straightforward text box. This next one is a combo box, this lets you select a drop down list, so if I go to properties on this one, I can start adding a list so let's go word okay excel okay let's say access okay and okay to that then i'll have that list in there now i'm just going to merge this bottom so because what you can do also in this one if i go back to developer i have the option of putting auto text entries in there so at the moment it's on quick parts but if I go into properties I can select auto text and then click OK and then if there are any auto text entries and there's just one in this document I've done there my name you can select from there so it's quite a good little feature and carrying on we've got date picker so this just basically does what it says on the tin gives you a date selection option and then click into the next box, you've got a yes no field, tick box, tick on, tick off, and then you have got a drop down list, date picker, these are just other options or image control, but all of these are great. Now the problem with this is if I restrict editing, so at the moment this one works fine. If I click on restrict editing and tick um, only allow this type of editing and select what you would think would be the correct option, filling in forms, so filling in forms I can do but as soon as I enforce the protection, I won't bother with the password, I'll click OK, list then disables this feature all the other ones still work, I can type in that box, I can type in this box, and I can type in this box, or select from this box. I can tick that, but I can't do anything with this control while it is protected. Stop protection, and I can use that. So that's slight, slightly irritating, because the whole point of doing this, in my view, is to make sure people enter text where you want them to enter and don't start typing away down here somewhere messing up your form um, and this option is quite a useful option what well, would be a useful option because you could bring in different sections of a document like paragraphs from your quick parts gallery but now once you enforce you lose that feature so that's a quick overview of forms and some of the tools that you've got on the developer tab that you might not know that are there and apart from what I've just said there with quick parts the rest of it is a great great way to force people to select from a particular area in a document now I did this in the table but just to make sure you're okay with this stop protection if I'm not in a table I can still use these controls as you may well see these in other documents and template documents that 
Microsoft used is you can put these anywhere in the documents and scatter them around the documents. So it could be dear, enter surname, address, enter address, wherever you want to put these things, you can place them around the documents. It's totally up to you. And if you're not using the building blocks option, when you password protect, that would be the only place that people will be able to type. Anyhow, that's the end of this session. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for your time.